Let's walk through the process of getting started with TinyTalk and building your AI chatbot. You can fill in the form to sign up or continue with your Google account to get access to the TinyTalk platform. Once you are in, you can begin by creating your first bot and give it a name. Here we see the details of your bot. You can find its ID, change its internal name, or select which GPT model it should use. Notice that since we are using a free account, we are not allowed to choose a different LLM model yet. You can also activate or deactivate your bot at any given time. Next up is creating a knowledge base and training your bot with your data. We can start with a simple PDF document. Here we have a fictional HR staff manual from Acme Innovations. Once the file is selected, click on Upload File. Now that our resource file is uploaded, we can see some details about it, like the amount of characters the resource contains and the overall status of our limits. The uploaded files are by default private and only accessible by you. Let's go ahead and hit the train button to start with training. Once it's finished, we can confirm this by the updated button status. Role prompts are used to set the mood and personality of your bot. Let's go ahead and add role prompt. Hit the insert example prompt button to start quickly with a template. You can instruct your bot how it should reply to your visitors. This is where you set some guardrails and define what to say and what not to say. We left a space here so you can fill in it with the subject of your context. In this case, it's Acme Innovations. Here's a quick walkthrough of the options available to personalize your chatbot interface. First, set your bot's avatar by clicking Select Avatar and hit Upload File. This image will represent your bot visually. Next, enter a bot name to identify your bot and add a tagline that encapsulates its function or personality. This will be displayed prominently to users. Under Input Placeholder, type the text that will appear in the message box before users start typing. For the chat visuals, you have color settings for different elements like user and bot message background. You can also set the color for suggested message buttons your bot offers. Remember, the colors you choose should complement your brand and be clear to read for users. And that's it. Your HR bot is now tailored to fit your company's style. Next, let's craft a welcoming message to greet our employees. This initial message will set the stage, informing them about the range of topics our bot is equipped to assist them with. Now let's add a few suggested messages to help your users get started. You can add multiple messages and they will appear in order. Label is the text that will be displayed in the chat interface. Message is the text that will be sent in the chat when the label is clicked. These options will help your visitors to jumpstart their conversations. Next, we have the lead generation feature. When creating a public facing bot intended to collect leads, you can enable this feature to generate leads from your traffic. Define a call to action and a feedback message to shape the user experience. Collected leads will be accessible on this dashboard, which we will explore in a moment. Let's take your bot for a spin. This is the perfect opportunity to see your bot in action and ensure its responses align with the information from the knowledge base. Now is the ideal moment to refine your bot's tone by experimenting with role prompts. Feel free to adjust the chat interface's colors to match your branding and observe how the suggested messages and welcome messages perform. This stage is crucial for fine-tuning your bot's user interaction to create a seamless experience. Let's review the leads your bot has gathered. Within this table, you'll find each lead captured by the bot, complete with enriched attributes to facilitate segmentation. Exporting this data to a CSV file is straightforward for any further analysis or integration you might need. Each chatbot maintains its own distinct leads table, ensuring that data from different bots remains organized and separate for targeted follow-up actions. It's time to integrate our chatbot into our website. We'll use an online code editor for this example, but the process is similar across different platforms. Begin by visiting the TinyTalk documentation to find embedding examples. There, copy the HTML code to embed the chatbot as an iframe. Next, return to your code editor, find the location you want your bot to be, and paste the copied snippet. Now, we need to personalize the code with our unique chatbot ID. To find this, go back to the TinyTalk dashboard, copy your bot's ID, and then update the iframe code with this ID. With the iframe embedded, our chatbot is ready for action, offering a streamlined experience, 
ideal for single-page layouts that demand more screen real estate. Take your time to talk with it and verify everything works as expected. Let's continue by embedding TinyTalk as a chat widget. Revisit our documentation to copy the appropriate script. Paste this into your code editor, replacing the placeholder with your actual chatbot ID. And there you have it. Our chatbot is now embedded as a chat widget on your page. Click to open the widget and start interacting with your bot right away. Let's revisit the knowledge base section to explore another functionality. Adding a website URL. You have the option to input a single URL or to crawl an entire website, selecting specific pages that will serve to inform your chatbot. In this demonstration, we'll use the TinyTalk website. We'll input the URL and then click the Fetch Links button. This action initiates the crawling of the site, identifying pages suitable for inclusion in the chatbot's training process. Once the crawl is complete, choose the pages you wish to use, either by adding individual resources or by opting to add all discovered links. With our selections added to the knowledge base, we're ready to begin training. You can initiate training for each resource individually or streamline the process by clicking Train All Resources to commence bulk training. Keep in mind, the more content you include, the longer the training period may be. However, the chatbot remains interactive during this time, drawing on the data already processed. Now it's time to engage with our chatbot. Ask away, and it will provide responses based on the rich repository of information we've compiled in our knowledge base.